quality that God will ever give you as a man is patience. I want to say this one more time. The greatest ability that God will ever give you as a man is patience. King Jesus started his ministry at 30 because of patience. Joseph, I believe, became the governor over the land at the age of 30, I believe, because of patience. Remember, he was 17. That time where that favor was being revealed upon his life, he had the coat of many colors. But even the book of Psalms says that until the word of the Lord came to pass, he was tested. And he overcame the tests. He passed the tests. Your greatest trait as a man will be patience. Patience will advance your wisdom. And patience will give you God's heart towards people or situations. Everything in your life as a man will birth more patience inside of you. God calls us as men to train others, whether it be a wife or a child or a ministry or a business, colleagues, students, associates. God put the trainer ability in a man because with that trainer ability, you unlock patience. While you're operating as a man, you're operating in patience more and more. Moses, one of the things that was demonstrated through him was patience. Even though Pharaoh's heart was hard and he said, keep going back to Pharaoh. Because he's increasing Moses' patience. He tells Joshua, walk around the wall seven times. Because he's increasing his patience. He could have walked around three times because of impatience. He could have walked around only two times because of anxiety. He could have walked around five times because of disappointment. But he walked around seven times. That was the fullness of patience. The Bible says in Galatians, until the fullness of time, the Son of God then was manifested at the fullness of time. It was the fullness of patience. The blessing of time is that it creates your patience. The anointing of time is that it stimulates your patience. In one aspect, it creates, meaning your patience begins. In one aspect, it anoints, meaning that your patience comes forth in greater measures. Patience is what Jesus did by learning obedience by the things he suffered. In Hebrews 5, 8, it was about patience. The kingly quality that will manifest the most in you through your life is the kingly quality of patience. There's nothing that defines a king more than patience. You will know when there is a king in the land because of patience. You will know when there's a man after God's own heart because of patience. Ungodly men do not have patience. Ungodly men are rushy. Ungodly men, they don't give you opportunity to think. Ungodly men are manipulative. Ungodly men are forceful. Ungodly men hate the idea of patience. Ungodly men resist the angel of patience. Ungodly men resist the Holy Spirit's curriculum on patience. An ungodly man will easily destroy because of no patience. An ungodly man does not wait for God's clarity. An ungodly man does not lead by wisdom. An ungodly man leads by senses. An ungodly man leads by senses. 
and ungodly men leads by senses. That's why even when the rich man was in hell, the rich man said, just give me a drop of water on my tongue. The rich man still wanted to feel sensual. He wanted to feed his senses. He didn't say, get me out of hell. He said, just give me a drop of water while I'm in hell. Because I need to feed my sense realm. An ungodly man leads by his senses. A godly man leads by his wisdom. 